Hello fam, welcome back on the channel. Guys, exciting times, and it? We're learning a lot about um, Genshin Impact. But even, anyway, before that, you know, like, I hope everybody's doing well, guys. You know, how are you? You know, thanks very much for engaging with the content. You know what I mean? I was, I was just about to go straight to business, you know, but I have received so much positive feedback lately. You know, I love this community. I just want to address these few things before we start the video. I appreciate every last one of you. Keep in mind that I won't be able to answer straight away. You know, like I am having a full time job, so I check my comments. I am going to get back to every one of you. I love the fact that you guys actually watch the videos with me and address, you know, the questions I have. You put the timestamps, you know, like that shows that means a lot to me, you know, time. And this is why I started YouTube. That's what I'm I'm hoping to get from my subscribers, you know, like, and I don't even consider you guys as subscribers, just, you know, I, I just think that we're a big fam, you know what I mean? So, thanks very much, you know, for subscribing, for liking, for commenting, I appreciate the positive, the negative even, you know, like, I'm open to suggestions, I am, this is a learning experience for me. So if you have any suggestions, I seen a few of you said, you know, pause the video, don't miss out on, you know, important dialogue. I am going to try to do that. Sometimes I just, you know, burst out on, on, on the, on the moment, you know, because it's just so hype or, you know what I mean? So yeah, but I am paying attention to the content. Make no mistake. You know, the screen is literally 20 centimeters in front of me. I am reading, I am learning, I am hearing, you know what I mean? So keep that in mind, you know? And yeah, let's just go into it, man. I just wanted to say thank you, you know, before we get into it. I I am really happy, you know, that I kind of like found my people, you know, like I, I appreciate you guys watching with me. I, it means a lot, you know what I mean? And yeah, so today we're doing the story teasers. Um, and yeah, the first one is called Lantern Right Footage from Genshin Impact Ming, Ming, Ming Xiao Convergence. Um, and yeah, my Chinese pronunciation is getting better. If there's any Chinese subs, subs, let me know. Am I fucking it up or am I just, I'm spot on. Like, you know, I want to know. Oh yeah. Um, okay, so let's just jump into it. Overall, from the story teasers, that just tells me straight away. It is uh, pretty straightforward, the title. So I'm guessing that we, I am going to find more about the lore of the whole story overall, you know, as C characters probably uh, as well. So I'm excited to do this. Let's just go. There's 44 videos. I'm going to do it in two parts because they are more than about two hours long. Wow, that's so beautiful. Guys, just give me a second. I'm going to lower down the volume a bit. It's so loud. Um, let's go. Oh, his design is so beautiful. It's like magical creature or something. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, that's cool. I would really love to go to a festival like this, guys. It's one of my dreams is to go to Japan, you know what I mean? If I have any Japanese subs, guys, uh, drop me a comment down. Let me know where you live. I might visit you next year. If you want. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Ah, oh, this looks so cool. Sky's the limit. Nice. The boy and the whirlwind. Whirlwind. Monstat transpired the story to be told, where a tyrant ruled. I met a boy not that old. 
The lyre he played, and for a song he sought. Was the bard, yeah? Storm walls blocked blue sky. He was sincerely distraught. I do so wish to see the birds in flight, said he, his strong eyes filling with light. But his voice was lost in the howling wind's churn. For the whirlwind oh, takes and so nice. gives not in return. The true sky and songs that cageless soar. Were they not wishes worth fighting for? So the boy turned, extending his hand. Let us cast down the tyrant and his walls from this land. The boy, young boy raised in the flag of revolt, and I threw myself into freedom's tumult. Victorious were we who fought to be free. Gods fell, winds whipped, nations shook violently. In the smoke, a despot met his doom. And we watched as his great tower fell none too soon. Mondstadt began anew, the story passed down, and since then never has another worn its crown. That was beautiful. Guys, when I hear stories like these, I just feel like a like a boy again, like a kid, you know what I mean? I don't know, uh, I'm gonna pause it for a second, as I have been told. I don't know if you guys, uh, I don't know what kind of generation, what kind of age you are, but when I used to be like young, like five, six, my grand, great granddad, I was raised by my great grandparents. They died when I was like 13, 14. And I do remember every night, my great grandparents telling me stories like, you know, um, Romanian uh, folklore stories, you know, and that was, that's, that's a beautiful part of my childhood that I still remember now, you know, let's go. In ancient times, Liyue was a land of misery. My cat is trying to get into the house, guys, one second. Shadow I thought my cat, loomed large. I'm gonna pause for a second, I thought my cat was trying to get into the, the house, but it was actually the wind coming from the fireplace and I was making that noise. Usually when he comes in, he knocks at the window and I let him in, but it's gonna be a storm here tomorrow, so the wind is, 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 is strong, like, let's go. I'm gonna go back for just a few seconds. Where the shadow of evil loomed large. Okay. As slain gods festered, their vengeful wrath cursed the world, manifesting in infernal forms. When demons stirred, miasmas, monsters, and mutations infested the land. Then Rex Lapis summoned the Yakshas to vanquish the demons. Hey, hey. They swore an oath. Restore order through slaughter. Purge evil through battle. I know we to have this, one Yaksha. We dedicate our lives. I remember one. Eons of bloodshed later, karmic death weighed upon them. Phantom wrath oh, seeping into their broken souls. They went mad with fear. Turned on each other. Or succumbed to the darkness. Mm. Of the five foremost Yakshas, death came to three. While the fourth vanished without a trace. In the That's millennia boy. Since, one conqueror of demons remains the sole surviving Yaksha in the mortal realm. Ooh, ooh, they're hyping him up. Nights, in the glow from Guyon, and in the sound of the Dihua flute. How is it just it was... memory preserved. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. I know him, yeah, I remember him. Sick. Sick, that was a nice backstory. I enjoy that. Seen from Wind Bloom Festival, Floral Breeze. The Wind Bloom Festival originated in the Crown of the North, the City of Freedom. Oh, we gotta bring enough supplies this time, otherwise you'll go hungry again. <laughs> so, if you're asking me... Unofficial business? We're grateful to you. As are we to you. Funny, we haven't gotten together for a meal while. It's been so busy. What should we do on this day? <sighs> Mr. Albedo! How's the research going? <sighs> We've had a few issues. Well, have a look at this. No. Of course, any good tavern offers bar snacks. Hmm. Really? <laughs> How should we do it? Who should we do it for? Quietly? Or boldly. Make the first move or trust a chance. Huh? Uh, look out! Oh, oh. Sorry, so sorry. Uh, my 
it so peaceful? So long as we can both share fond memories. It doesn't matter. Let the heart decide. <laughs> Was that a dragon, yeah? Cool. Okay, very chill, very mellow vibe on this one. Through the eyes of a dragon. In our last tale, Let's go. Rex Lapis was walking alone in the mountain. He heard a remote voice unlike any other. Bro, I'm gonna pause it for a second. These people get me, like, you know, even in real life, you know, like, you know, like... Guys, no offense, you know, like, don't take any offense if, you know, like, I am not religious, you know, I am agnostic. And I, I, I do believe in God, you know what I mean? Just not in the Christian God, you know what I mean? I do believe in higher power. But let me, let me, let me tell you what I, what I want to say. Like, when I see, when I see people like this, you know, um, apostles, whatever they are, I'm, I'm sure this guy is not an apostle boy, you know, like, I think he's just so funny, like... I read the Bible a few times, actually, six times almost when I was a kid. And because my great grandparents used to make me. And, you know, you read Mate, you read John, you read uh, um, Pavel or Luca or whichever, whichever one the apostles are, you know what I mean? And then you think, um, bro, like everybody has a different angle like you know of course there are different person but like they be trying to tell you like you know they be trying to tell you oh you know jesus was like this and then you know the catholics come in or like the orthodox come in or like the protestants come in or all of these kind of people have their own version of what really happened you know what i mean i think it's crazy when a person tells you like this is what happened it's enough if you believe in god and you you know you you obey by you know like you you are like a good christian if you want to call it like that you are um self-aware of what's right or wrong and things like that but like having people telling you like oh no it's like this oh no 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 you know like i know i ah, know but that's that didn't happen like that that happened like that you know and people actually you know guide themselves based on these principles that these people have uh just written down these are just people guys you know what i mean i know you know if you know what i mean you know, they have been guided by the Holy Spirit, so it's under this assumption that they wrote uh, the Gospels, you know. I think they're called Gospels in English. But anyway, I just wanted to say this out because every time I see a guy explaining kind of like a legend in this case, you know, they, oh, he was walking like that, like, bro, have you been there? Like, have have you have you been there? You know, like, this happened like 2,000 years ago, like, who told you? Like, you know what I mean? Everything gets distorted with time, guys, you know, time and religion and, and everything, you know, like everything gets distorted with time. You know, you tell a story to a guy, then, you know, he writes it down in a year from now on. He's going to, you know, like add, you know, a few things then and so on and so on. And it's kind of like a process, you know, where you don't know what really happened and who's right or who's wrong, you know, time mean. But anyway, let's just go. I'm just... um. I think it's funny, you know, Tim. Let's go. From a crack in the earth. Imagine how many religions we have. Most of the ancient geo life forms that live below Liyue are blind, having not seen the sunlight for an age. The voice was sometimes sad and song like, other times it was loud and thunderous. The Lord of Geo searched here and there before finally unearthing a strange stone from the bedrock. That's how Ejdaha was. I answered his wish and took him above ground. The Lord of Geo took pity on the rock spirit and carved it into a magnificent work of craftsmanship, a vivid representation of a dragon. Cool. I bestowed him with a pair of eyes to see the world and came to an agreement with him. With his fingers, he made two eyes. Quicker than words could tell, lightning flashed and thunder roared, and a living, breathing dragon soared into the clouds. What? Let me go back to the design. He's tree. His tail is like a tree, like a magnolia tree. It looks so beautiful, guys, with the blue at the end. Looks like magnolia leaves. Let's go. 
His design was so nice, so artistic. But if the day ever came when he brought ruin to order, he would once again be sealed in the dark. Mm. The dragon accompanied the Lord of Geo, fighting campaigns alongside him in the four corners of the world. We have a saying to eulogize these events. The crash of a spear brought billowing dust. The mountains and waters made so way out a sound. The sight of a dragon bestowed with a touch the promise of rainwater. Blessing the ground. I'm loving the art style, guys. The, the same aesthetic movements and the panels and everything is just gorgeous. The colors are amazing. He was once a good friend of mine. The solitary pursuit of lightning. One day he asked me about a sword art of which he had heard, the Musono Hitotachi. Mm. I told him it can only be witnessed when divine punishment is administered. It is the pinnacle of the Raiden Shogun's skill. Mm. A symbol of ultimate power. Ooh, there's gonna be a thumbnail, guys. But he replied, there must be one who can withstand it. I can't decide. There will always be those who dare to brave the light. Panels are amazing. Then, the vision hunt decree arrived. People's aspirations were stripped away mm. as the Raiden Shogun began to construct her ideal of eternity. While I was fleeing from place to place, I heard that my friend had challenged the Vision Hunters to a duel before the throne. A solemn yet brutal challenge. The defeated faced divine punishment, while the victors gain a second chance. Perhaps he thought he of all people should make a stand. Mm. Didn't finish well. Face with the Musono Hitotachi was all that he truly desired, after all. When I arrived at Tenchukaku, the duel was over. I heard his sentence of divine punishment, his severed blade hitting the ground. Perhaps that was the glory he had yearned to witness. Mm. In his last Maybe. Moments, what expression was on his face? You are Before there, I bro. I had stepped forward and snatched the dying vision and was running from the scene. All I knew was that I mustn't let his hope. Bro, you are there. You couldn't see his face. You are just there, literally. You just said that. Let's go. Which burned so brightly, become buried among the ice cold statue of a god. Hmm. That was nice. I am loving these uh, these teasers. They don't feel like teasers to me. They feel like actual like solid info lore you know what i mean i love it when lightning flashes it casts a shadow mm. my name means shadow hmm. promise With of a people's blade, dream i purged all obstacles to progress mm, that that was a strong line that was a strong line whoa Something was lost with each step forward. This looks gorgeous, guys. This end, looks gorgeous. I even lost her. Who? The tales are still retold in the shade of every Thunder Sakura. Thunder but the wounds Sakura. left on our nation by that terrible loss still ache. Never stop searching, even if only for a brief flash of light. If nothing else, we have the present moment. She said that once. This is gorgeous, guys. But I've seen the nation strike forward and lose everything to the heavenly principles. Perhaps only if time stands still will the lightning's glow never fade. The present moment is a fragile illusion. Only eternity can bring us closer to the heavenly principles. I am no longer the shadow. Mine is the most supreme and noble form. Let power over the realm be vested within me. Okay. In this form shall I honor my subject's dream for a land of eternity, unchanging forevermore. Okay, she sounded a bit drunk with power to me, but I don't really know her character that well. 
I can understand her position though. Let's go. Flavors of the world. Chosius, god of the stove, born from a spark when stone struck stone. He was a god with a great love for humanity and their well-being. Oh, looks like a teddy bear. Many ago, the people sought to expand their city. They built a dwelling on the plains and called it the Gwaili Assembly. The stone okay. god cared greatly for the people, turning himself into minions who went into every home, fostering food and solidarity alike. <laughs> Looks good. Cool. Look at the drawings. Their home was taken by a flood. Mm. The waters ravaged the Gwaili assembly and forced the people back south to Liyue Harbor. His design is sick. Look, there's a big stag. Whoa! Guys, sorry, I have to pause this. Look at the artwork. Oh my goodness, I have to make a print screen of this. gonna be hard later on to find the exact frame you know what i mean exact second beautiful absolutely beautiful i wouldn't mind having a painting like this on the wall to be honest gorgeous and the crane the crane looks so mystical man this is by far the most visually um playlist that I'm doing you know that looks gorgeous this is exactly my vibe let's go the journey was plagued by a terrible storm for a dozen days the adepti stayed by their side mm. during this time the stove god cooked an ancient delicacy flatbread with a meat sauce to stave off the cold Ooh. and damp give me some of that on the move Oof. I wouldn't mind having Centuries something later, warm in my belly right now. And plague arose once more. The storm mm. god would appear no longer, for he placed all of his power into the land itself to quell the calamities. His power expended and his wits greatly reduced. Thus, his body decreased in size. By the time he parted ways with us, he wasn't even the height of a human. He told Rex Lapis and I of the dishes that bring joy and of the secrets of the flame. Then went into the mountains and mm. entered into a long... He's so long cute, man. Yeah, <laughs> he's the size of a teapot. Um, the stove god so departed and Guoba was born. When he awoke, he ate the chili men's cornbread buns placed on the offering table by a young lady in yellow. Though he did not remember the past, he was profoundly moved and decided to follow this young lady thereafter. The All stone right. god had quietly disappeared, but the vendors rose early to hawk their wares. People went out to buy goods, lit their stoves, and cooked food. He brought just as they life, every man. Day for as long as they could remember. Mm. In Liyue, things have always been this way. Hmm. Gorgeous man. Nature provides, the mountains rejoice. We are blessed by heaven's good grace. Oh, this looks so beautiful, guys. By. The world has transformed, but our way of life survives. Mmm. Liwe. I'd like to live here, man. You know, I know this is a dream in a dream, but is only a season. It is the moment that we should embrace. Past meets present. Heritage becomes legacy. Look Long at them. Into the future, may we thrive. Wow, that was so satisfying to watch, guys. So cute. Uh, no, the cat is actually here. Hold on a second. Let's, let's go. These cats are... No. no comment. No comment. Being a cat... Cat owner is hard. The Divine Damsel of Devastation. Okay, it rhymes.
Oh man, that looks so malefic. I got chills for some reason. I love the song. Whoa. I would frame almost every shot. Wow, guys, wow, wow, no words, that was beyond beautiful, um, the song and again the artwork is just, this is just my vibe, you know what I mean, I love it. Fleeting colors and flight event cuts in animation, age of flowing hues. Hues? Age of flowing hues? Hues are like nuances of color? I'm not sure what that means. Hues. Lady Kuching, the item Lady Ningguang prepared for you has arrived. Traveler, wait here for a moment. Don't go anywhere. Huh? Must be something important. <laughs> She's so cute, man. Personal tailor make it for me. Said it's an imported style. Well, do you like it? Wow, it's beautiful! <laughs> it's time. Traveler, please enjoy the grand finale of this year's lantern rite. The fireworks show. Beautiful. I don't know why, but I think that dress made her look like a butterfly. Oh, yeah, look. The the things on the back, that's why. It's gorgeous. The design is really nice. Check you out. Looking pretty fancy. Only a true treasure catches the eye of Captain Beto. Seems I've struck gold with this one. Everybody's on a chill vibe, everybody's having a good time. This feels more like like an episode of <laughs> of a, a series, a like you know? Like uh, so it does. Mm. 
man. Their designs are amazing. I am starving. I just came back from work, guys. I I said I'm gonna do this video and then eat. You know what I mean? I was wrong. <laughs> I'm supposed to eat first. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna die. You know what I mean? Of starvation for for another like 30 minutes. Dr. Baiju, sorry to trouble you again this year. <laughs> no trouble at all. Oh, lantern ride. <laughs> they do love a lot of fireworks and in, in, uh, in the game, and it guys. Happy lantern ride. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Happy lantern ride. <laughs> Nice one, very mellow. I like these kind of uh, clips also because you get closer to the characters, you know, to the, uh, and you can you you get a feel about their personality, ago, judging Inazuma by the way they five talk. Five legendary and... poets, people bestowed oh, upon them the title. Five legendary Inazuma. poets. Okay, this one is called "Tale of the Five Kassen. Kassen or Kassen, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Okay, five legendary poets. Five. Poetry wouldn't be my forte, guys, and it wouldn't be my favorite. Um, I mean, I do like poetry. I just don't understand it. I'm not the artistic type. I'm the practical type of person. Uh, but I can appreciate a good, let's say, poem. Depends. Let's just go. I let's just say I wouldn't be the biggest fan of poetry. But let's go. Five legendary poets. People bestowed upon them the title of the Five Kasen. One year, the poet Suiko made his way to Tenchukaku and presented the Kasen's work for the Shogun. But I will say this, I'm gonna pause for a second, I will say this, words have power, you know what I mean? And judging just, just based on that principle, I can see how poetry, which is a form of art, can have power over people, you know. It can bring them down, bring them up, you know, based on on what kind of uh, message the poet is trying to relay through his poetry, like you know. So let's go. It's perusal, but a page from the works of Aoi no Okina had been torn out, and Suiko was questioned regarding the matter. Suiko pleaded guilty. He admitted to drinking at the tavern the night before, and vaguely ah. recalled a mysterious figure approaching while he was intoxicated. Bro, you just... That figure was none other than Aoi no Okina himself. Who's this? This turn of events had begun with an unnamed individual, under whose coercion Aoi no Okina was forced to take drastic measures to retrieve a page of poetry. He knew nothing of this individual's true intentions. Hmm? All he knew was that the poem had to do with an old acquaintance, Akahito. I can see Akahito. I can see the, the color references here. Aoi means blue, Aka means red, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's just go ahead once belonged to the five kasen. Ito had mm. once belonged to the five kasen. Each poem he composed, he marked with a scarlet red There you go. Hence the Aka in his name. All right. Such a distinguished writer was he, and yet one of the poems he had submitted the previous year was found to be plagiarized. Akahito was exiled for his crimes, and only four of the five Kasen remained. Hmm, I wonder if that's true. Sumizome went over Akihito's poems and noticed that the plagiarized poem lacked his seal. She immersed his poetry in a stream nearby. And only on the plagiarized poem did the ink run. Aoi no Okina passed by and witnessed Sumizome's doing, which he then recorded in a poem. Mm. Thus transpired the events of Suiko's poetry submission. And this is where the story comes to an end. Okay, so abruptly, like, I wanted a bit more of that, like, at least. Okay. <clears throat> what happened with him? The Kamisato clan's future. 
the duty. Tsubaki in towing, towing snow, short trailer. Tsubaki. Tsubaki means. Tsubaki is a type of bird, I think. Let's go. I might be wrong. The Kamisato clan's future. These are the Yashiro Commission. Hmm. My brother should not bear these burdens alone. This belief is what has led me to this duel. Shogi? Check! Hmm. When the Tsubaki is in season, I always have the same dream. When a Tsubaki is in season? My mother is with me. Huh? And I am at peace. Maybe somewhere deep down inside, the carefree days of family time have not ended for me. The Tsubaki is a flower then? I might... Let's, let's just see if I got it. But just as flowers wither... Hmm, okay, yeah. I too must awaken from my dream. Kamisato art of Tachijutsu, still like the morning dew, swift like lightning. Something stirs within me, perhaps the echo of a fond dream. But there it stays, day after day. Whoa. Pushing me to overcome. Mm. And tempering my blade. Nice. That was the first time I bested brother in a duel. And the brother was not pulling any punches, like I could see that. It was also the moment well done. that the Shirasagi Himegimi was born. Hime, gimme. Hime means bride, yeah? Well done. Nice one. It's showtime, so. Mayaka. Uh. The fireworks have started. Everyone's waiting for you. Brother's looking crispy. It was your wish to take over this side of things, if I recall. I like his, his outfit. Sorry, Ayato. We pray to our God. May all our dreams endure forever. Mm. Narukami Island. Narukami. I was just about to say begin. that. I was just about to say that. Jesus, there's so many fireworks. Reminds me of the Narukami. But there you go. It was a uh, only old what? Only old memories remain. Very true, guys. Nobis. Very Where have true. You been? Again. Mm. I've told you countless times. I am Boyang, a thaumaturge who fought with you in the chasm. Boyang? Boyang? You are Boyang, but who am I? He's talking to fight against the cats. Me. I want to know as much as you do. Oh. Here we are, the two who agreed to stay here together, and I can't even call you by your name. It's a shame. Stay here. No. No, you have to leave. <laughs> Nonsense, Brother Yaksha. We're down here for good now. Don't you remember? Mm. It's too late to have regrets. The seal can't be broken. What were they? Oh, yes. Hey. I'm a Yaksha who came here to fight. Mm. Brother, is okay? the one that got corrupted by the dark? Look at the state of me. I don't think I've got long now. Mm. <laughs> We're the only two left. Don't go dying on me. <sighs> you know, today I saw my family down here. 
Clear as day. All right. What do you think? Am I losing my mind? They're kind of like in a purgatory, in hell purgatory. Do you want to go home? I made my decision to leave John Zhao up on the surface. John Zhao. Of course, I want to go home. Hmm. Brothers and sisters? I'm sure you do. Brothers and sisters. Hmm. Yes. But who am I? Where he is doesn't my remember family? who he is. I... Brother, what's wrong? Hang in there. It's just you and me, though. Don't die before me. Hmm. Atlantis. Is that you? Fuck. Who's Alatus? Your memory's calling again. Fuck. <laughs> this is sorry. sad, man. You all have to see me in this state. Mm. Brother. Brother. Look. There's someone over there. You'd be better off behind me. You know what I mean? Than being like this. I know it's not. doesn't sound pretty, but like. He's lost. He's lost. You know, he's a lost soul. Whoa. The Aksha. Three of them die, yeah, they said that. <laughs> hmm. They look so happy, man. Hmm. You're awake. At least. At least tell me your name. Brother. Brother Bosatius. Hey, Bosatius. I, I am Bosatius, and my destiny is to make the ultimate sacrifice. Mm. Preach it then. What's that sacrifice? They kill him with this. Is he gonna sacrifice his life? So he, uh, so his partner can go away from there. I don't even know if that's possible. I'm just making a wild guess. Perilous trail event cuts in animation. Moment of life or Stars death. Yelan. Distill your light. Evil purged by thunder's might. Spirit curbed. Numa surged. Mm. By dictum divine. Heed these words. Do as I command. <laughs> Fantastic compass is an amplifier. Maintain this energy level and we may stand a chance. I will maintain the energy flow. Understood. Everyone, stand back. I shall hold the line by sealing the surface. As Yakshas, we must fight for this world. General Alatus, pulling in! This is so sick, man. So badass, man. She's so badass. This trip may be dangerous. Mm. If you insist on going. I have guarded this place for several hundred years, only to seek the nameless Yaksha. Mm. I request your approval. What's he sensing? What's happening?
bro, this looks like a proper anime, like I'm watching Like, you know what I mean, guys? Is, this looks so good Like, I could watch a few seasons of this, like, no problem, like I would love it, actually, I would enjoy it What did he do? He teleported them. Fuck, he's on his own. Mm. Who saved him? Mm -hmm. Who was that? Huh. Nice, nice, nice. Teva chapter interlude teaser. A winter, a winter night's lazo. Tomorrow I'm gonna do the concert, guys. The Shanghai concert. There's few of them, but I'm gonna do the Shanghai first because it's been uh, requested few times. The sages think themselves to be all known. We alone are wise to the virtue in those acts of folly. Who's this? In this war, not even a single pawn may be spared. Because on this chessboard, checkmate is not where the game ends. Bro, who's this guy? Are we gonna see him again? I need to go back. Guys, let me go back for a second. A single pawn. Look at this guy. This guy looks like a boss. Who is this guy? I never seen him before. To remember our dear. Oh, I went too far. Let me go back. Checkmate is not yeah. where the game ends. I am just baffled by the visuals. I can't believe how good they are. They look even better than in the demos and all that. Maybe it's just me, you know, but... We are gathered here today to remember our dear comrade. In honor of her sacrifice, all work should halt for half a day as the nation mourns her passing. <laughs> Merely half a day? People say the Northland Bank's true currencies are blood and tears. But Mayor, even speaking as a banker, that sounds a little unconscionable. Rosaline died in a foreign land. But you heartless businessmen and dignitaries always with a convenient excuse to remain- Who is she? Jesus, she looks so cool. Mmm, look at her eyes. She has like an X shape in her eyes. Rosaline, it sounds very familiar. One of you guys said to me like she was a final boss or something like that. Well, like uh, she was, a... and then somebody told me in the conversation that they, uh, you guys actually wanted her to come back in the story, but they didn't. I think this is the one that uh, I read about. So these guys are the villains, yeah. In the comfort of your homeland. They you look like it anyway. They look the part. So why don't you keep your mouths shut? We don't want to make the children cry. <laughs> hey, come on now. Even I don't think this is the right time or place for a fight. The designs are cool. <laughs> Utterly risky. Though her methods tarnished her honor, Loafalta's sacrifice is a great pity. Ooh. Her loss shall Ooh. not hinder our progress. Mm. But Detore. What of Scaramouche and the Gnosis from Inazuma? 
Conventional wisdom holds that divine knowledge cannot be rationally comprehended. Bro, they look so good. After conquering the divine gaze, he will make his next move. It's time to end tonight's foolish theatrics. Right now, you have no captive audience. Let every worthy sacrifice be carved in ice. With this nation, endure for all time. Mm. In the name of Her Majesty the Tsaritsa, we will seize authority from the gods. Hold on a second, guys. In her name, in the name of Her Majesty the Tsaritsa, guys, I don't know if you know anything. Probably you guys know about the story, of course. But Tsar means king in the a Tsar is a king in in Russia, you know, Tsaritsa. So that's like the queen in a way. So are these characters connected to the last world, Chesnestia or something like that? Chesnestia. I'm not sure how to pronounce it because I don't. I I just heard it once. But they do give me that vibe, that Russian vibe, and his accent is a bit. You know, authority sad. from the gods. Mm. Big dreams, my guy. Big dreams. You know what I mean? So, all right, we know. Absolute like absolute peace. Such is the gift from the Tsaritsa. Mm. Such is Her Majesty's benevolence. Hmm. In this coffin, encased in layer upon layer of ice. Yeah, but Rosaline, I promise you, your final resting place will be the entirety of the old world. Big words, my guy, big words. I must say, you're looking very young today, Doctor. You know very well that I do not take that as a compliment. <laughs> so, where's the segment in the prime of his life, then? <laughs> He's busy with a little experiment in blasphemy. <laughs> what is happening? I am so lost. Mm. Uh, okay, Master Tainari. Tainari. What was that? Hmm. She had a vision? Interesting. Very interesting. Oh man, this story is so complex. I love it. It's just I I need to play I this often game. Travel during storms, which means my eyes are often blinded by the rain. Many times. I Golden midsummer right in front of me. One day I finally reached the top of the mountain. I looked out with the clouds beneath my feet and only the gentle breeze murmuring in my ears. The highest mountain is a clear and enlightened heart. Here there is no self, no hatred, no regrets, and no desires. Let's embark on a journey, for I am the breeze. We will meet again, no matter how far along the road. Life has just begun. Maybe the whole world can I am the stiff. Wow, it was such a long day in work today, guys. I have a short week. I'm working only Wednesday, Thursday, and then I'm off for four days. I can't wait. Can't wait. Gonna pull up a lot of videos for you guys on Friday. We're gonna do the concerts. We're gonna do a lot of content. And also, I wanna do ZZZ uh, from, uh, from Mihoyo, guys. If you have any links uh, that you'd like me to react regarding the game, let me know. I am gonna do them, you know what I mean? To you who lived here in the past, I hope you liked this song. One stormy night, a girl found a way to the future in the library. <sighs> it would be that easy, yeah? I shall create my dream kingdom. I'll carve mountains and oceans and erect castles and towns. Then she spoke to those who sh Guys, I'm gonna pause it for a second, just talking about kind of like time travel and all that. Guys, I would be the worst person to travel into the future. You know what I mean? Like, I don't remember anything. Like, my, you know, like, I don't know any like historical events and things like that. Uh, I would be like, 
Actually, no. What am I saying? If I would travel into the past, into the past, I don't know any like, you know, like past past events. You know, if I would travel in nineteen twenty, I would be like, bro, I don't remember like what I had yesterday for breakfast. I'm not gonna remember. You know, like, you know, like crazy things, the revolutionary things, the the years and all that. You know, it, you could be making a lot of money if you would be stuck in the past and you would know all of these kind of things where to invest and I don't know lotto numbers, lottery numbers and all that, all that kind of stuff. You know, I would be terrible to travel. I wouldn't even travel. You know, <laughs> if I would have the possibility. I, would, I don't think I would travel just to see and come back. Yeah, but anyway, just to put that out there, you know, time. Let's go. Share the dream. Please be proud of all that is unreal, for we are greater than this world. I'm gonna go back a few seconds just to get into the vibe again. But before that, I'm gonna ask you a question: If you would be able to travel, guys, where would you travel? You would travel into the past, or would you travel into the future, and why? You know what I mean? I would be so interested to know about your answers. You know what I mean? I would be so interested, you know, um, to know, you know, let me know. She said to herself, I shall create my dream kingdom. I'll carve mountains and oceans and erect castles and towns. Then she spoke to those who shared. All right. Please be proud Do you know anything about architecture unreal. and buildings? Oh, that's Fischl. I, I couldn't, I didn't recognize her at first. It was a transparent bird made of crystal. It was beautiful and fragile and could sing the most beautiful songs. But since mortals couldn't see it, they believed it to be a trick. How could a transparent bird possibly exist, let alone sing? When the bird heard that, it flapped its wings and flew across mountains and seas all the way to the night sky, where it turned into a star. Its brilliance was so dazzling that it illuminated everyone. It allowed all those that could see it to follow its light through the dark night, to sail through the seas under the guidance of the stars. It was born in wisdom, but trapped in ignorance. It has never voiced a complaint, for this is its destiny. Guiding people to see their destinies is the very meaning of its existence. That was beautiful. Now knowing what I know about official, I I I don't think it's funny, but I I just so bought into that. Oh, I am fighting this millennial like thousand years foe and all that. And then when I found out from you guys what the real story is, I just found it so funny. Um, Dance of Sabzer Sabzerus Sabzerus. I'm probably fucking that up badly, in it? Look, it is what it is. The wait is over, everyone. I dedicate this to our god. The dance of sub -Zerus. sub -Zerus. okay. Look how needy this is, this, this motherfucker. Look how needy my cat is. Look, look at him, guys. Hey. What's up? What's up? What's up? Huh? He wants food, I just gave him a sachet, you know, like a proper big one. And he has dry food, but he's just being a, a greedy little cat. Well, I'd little, not really little, but... I would have loved to see Nilo's dance. Was this? The song is so relaxing, so chill. What is happening? Are they getting like a like a boost or something? Like, I don't understand what's happening. D 
does she have any like healing uh, abilities you know through that through the dance and and singing you know like what's the story with that oh can you hear him guys look at his face oh stai cu minte gata potolește tot civilization is born of knowledge but so lost legacy is in the sand hey. can knowledge be its demise a disaster caught us unaware. It was knowledge that did not belong to this world. Yeah, too much information. King is this Deshret brought this forbidden knowledge into our world, and it quickly spread like a plague. Mm. People's minds were filled with crazed whispers. Dark gray scales spread across their bodies. All right. Even the land was stripped of its vigor. Only a desperate deathly silence remained were it not for greater lord ruka devata from the forests the damage would have been irreversible she summoned the priests to build temples and infused into them the divine power of life the disaster was miraculously tempered and the embers of were preserved um, in our guys time is absolutely flying you know like i'm gonna have to cut this video here i'm gonna watch it, of course this uh the the teaser but i have to run you have to do a few bits you know like i can't believe it's like 20 to 7 already like i thought it's six let's go Village. let's finish this alas the miracle let me go back for a second miraculously tempered and the embers of our civilization were preserved in Aru village. Mm. Alas, the miracle could not last. As long as forbidden knowledge continued to exist, it would forever blight this world. In the end, the proud king of the desert, my eternal lord, chose to sacrifice himself. Mm. I have spent my whole life since guarding one of these many temples. But now, my duty is coming to an end. As I close my eyes for the final time, the sight of that noble deity will appear in my vision once more. In helping King Deshret to eradicate forbidden knowledge, she exhausted her strength mm. and her form became that of a small child. All right. How strange. Now that I think of her, I no longer have any fear of death, for I sense that the spirit of life will abide with me during my eternal sleep. Children of the desert, Cling no longer to past grievances, but hold tight to the memory of this act of benevolence. That was beautiful. I wonder who the child is, you know what I mean? Um, guys, I'm gonna have to run, you know what I mean? Just time flew by so quick, like I said. I can't believe, you know, like we... Actually, we didn't even cover half, but I'm not really in rush, you know what I mean? We can do part two, part three, whatever might be the case, you know? I did stop here and there um, and, you know, actually paid more attention to the content like you re uh, requested, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's been like more than an hour than I'm doing this, I suppose. But yeah, I have to run away, guys, you know? Thanks very much for commenting. Thanks very much for engaging with the content. I love you. I appreciate every one of you guys. It means a lot to me, you know what I mean? Um, like if you like the video, share if you can, you know, I would appreciate it if you would share it in the community, whatever whatever you want, you know what I mean? I would appreciate it, it would mean a lot, you know? And um, subscribe if you're new, you know, welcome to the fam. And well, that's it. I'll see you on the next uh, video. We're going to do part two tomorrow, you know what I mean? Hope you're having a great day and I'll see you on, on the next one.